Now, from your hyper-local weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by Comfort Now by Bob McAllister. Hi, Comfort Bob. It's a great time to improve your air conditioner setup. Give us a call. We have specials going on right now. Rebates, tax credits, it's all available. Check out our website, IWantComfortNow.com. Hi everybody, meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. Hopefully you got to enjoy your Tuesday. We were dry for most of the day today, but it was definitely gray. Not as cold as it has been yesterday. We saw temperatures kind of staying in the 30s today. We were back up right where we're supposed to be. We saw those temperatures uh, kind of ending up in the low 40s. A nice little treat. And uh, what I want to point out to you, you see that record temperature of 66 degrees that was set back in 1967. Later this week, we're going to be seeing some pretty similar conditions. I don't know if we'll actually set or tie any records for Friday, uh, but 66 degrees will not be far off by what we're looking at for the end of this work week. So a nice uh, warm up on the way. If you don't like winter, you like warmer weather. You're going to have a nice treat as we look forward to Friday. Looking at tonight's forecast, uh, we are going to see some moisture rolling in, particularly after midnight and into the early morning hours. It does look to mostly be rain. However, check out those temperatures. We are down towards that freezing point. So any rain that does fall will have an opportunity to maybe freeze on some surfaces. So ice is a small concern for our area overnight tonight. So if you're out late tonight or if you kind of leave the house early tomorrow, do take it easy because what looks like just wet road surfaces could actually be patches of ice. So just kind of be weary of that. Looking at tomorrow, well, it's not the most beautiful day, <laughs> to be honest. We're going to be seeing stubborn clouds, a lot of opportunities for some scattered showers. We see the, the first round of rain kind of sticking around till maybe 5, 6 a.m., maybe a quick little sprinkle throughout the rest of the afternoon, and then between that 4 or 5 o'clock hour, that's when our more widespread rain starts to move in. So let's put that all into motion, show you what I'm talking about. So right now, yeah, still a lot of activity across North Jersey. There's snow, there's sleet and rain and wintry mix all across uh, north of Jersey, kind of through New York, southern New England, and portions of Pennsylvania. Here we have been dry so far. That's going to be changing, though. Some of that activity is going to try to drop a little further south, and you can see a little bit of that shading of green and purple dropping in across South Jersey. Again, that's that risk for a little bit of some ice and some freezing rain. We dry out for the middle part of the day with the exception of some quick little drizzle kind of embedded in that cloud coverage. And then for the evening, we see our our next round of rain moving in. This will be kind of more widespread. You'll be a little bit more noticeable and impactful, but it will be just rain. At this point, temperatures should be staying above freezing even during the overnight hours. So we are really just dealing with rain for the rest of your Wednesday, Thursday, and even really into the weekend. We're just seeing a very unsettled pattern with a lot of opportunity for some rain on the way. So let's look at that 70 forecast. You can see what I'm talking about. A chance for showers both Friday, Saturday, more rain on the way for Sunday. That'll be more kind of, like I said, widespread and impactful, similar to what we're going to be seeing for tomorrow evening. Uh, but the temperatures are kind of uh, helping us out a little bit. It, with it being so much warmer than what is usual for this time of year, it's going to help to kind of make it just a rain event, kind of lower those odds of rain and ice and all of those things, all of those opportunities for snow and ice, I should say. Rain is definitely at play. Uh, we do clear out by the start of next week, and like I said, by Friday, temperatures will kind of be in the 60s, so we could be getting closer to record territory. Uh, again, the record that was set for today back in 1967 was 66 degrees, so obviously temperatures in the 60s are not out of the question for record territory. So we'll uh, keep you guys up to date on everything. Again, take it easy tonight and tomorrow morning with that little bit of a risk for some ice on some of those untreated surfaces. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll be checking in with you later on tonight with your bedtime forecast.